This is the coronavirus update for March 20th, 2020. My name is Dr. Eric Beyer. I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The total number of cases worldwide is now 246,773 with over 10,000 deaths. China reported 39 cases over the past 24 hours with only three deaths. And the United States had 577 new cases with 10 new deaths over the past 24 hours. Italy is now leading in the death toll from the coronavirus. They surpassed China overnight. The United States has a total of 14,366 cases with 217 deaths. The daily new cases are on the rise. In New York State, there is a total of 345 new cases with four new deaths. There are the first deaths in Wisconsin and a man in his 50s and a man in his 90s. The coronavirus has also brought sad news out of New Jersey. An elderly woman and three of her adult children have died. This was a close-knit family, and 12 of them had dinner together over a week ago. Their mother was 73 years of age. And of the adult children who died, the oldest child was a daughter, was 55 years old, and two sons of hers also passed away. Three more relatives are hospitalized, two in critical condition. On to Italy. Italy again has surpassed China in total deaths at 3,405. Their death toll continues to rise in Italy, though it may be starting to peak and level out. We'll see over the next few days. China has had over 80,000 cases with 71,150 people who have recovered from the disease. The daily death rates in China have been on the decline for the last month, but it took one month for it to ramp up. And here in the United States, we are on the upslope of this curve. And if China has any indication as to how we will fare, then expect our curve to continue to rise for approximately the next month. The coronavirus in Florida, there's been 432 known cases, 96 are in Broward, and in Dade County, there's over 100 cases. So Miami-Dade has surpassed Broward County over the past 24 hours. The Weston uh, drive through clinic has opened. It's at Krupa Center at 3250 Meridian Parkway. There's also a moving mobile testing unit in Pompano Beach. The Pompano Beach Center can handle up to 300 registered patients, so you have to pre-register. There's another testing site that's due to open at the Park and Ride lot in C.B. Smith Park in Pembroke Pines. They'll do uh, The National Guard is doing screenings there. They'll have five lanes uh, of, uh, of places to go through with your car, and one lane is reserved uh, for first responders. So four lanes for the general public and one for first responders. Supplies have also arrived at the Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport uh, for a possible building of a mobile hospital. The mobile hospital will have beds for up to 250 patients. It's one of three sites in Florida that a mobile hospital is gonna be built. The mobile hospital is set to be built at the C.B. Smith Park in Pembroke Pines, the exact same park where the National Guard is doing screenings. And that'll end the daily update. Tune in tomorrow for uh, the latest on the coronavirus and in particular how it's affecting South Florida. Thanks.